What's up, guys? It's Mega Man 3D570. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black. In the last episode, we defeated the fifth gym leader, Clay, of Driftvale City. And we got Toad to level 33, Wormy level 34, Bacon to 34. And in this episode, we're going to be heading to the uh, left of, or to the north southeast, uh, yeah, uh, to the west of um, Driftvale City. But before we do that, Oh, hi, I'm Mega Man! Oh, God. Hey, were you at the gym just now? No. Oh, hey, that's the Driftville Gym Badge. That's amazing. <sighs> Leave me alone. No, 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 I can't get distracted by it being all impressed by your shiny new badge. I'm also a trainer. At times like this, you battle, right? Ugh! This is something I hate about black and white. The, the rival battles. There's one after every single gym. And probably even more than that it's so annoying okay so first up we got herd here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and send out our nice toady here and we're gonna probably go ahead and use a scald on herd here oh we're not gonna speed this up because this is a pretty important fight because any rifle battles I'm not gonna be speeding up so let's scald herd here Shoom. all right how much does that do? Uh, yes! There goes Herdy here. Awesome. <laughs> How much does that do? Yes! <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? Servine! Alright. So, I could either go for Baconator or Wormy. I'm probably gonna go for Baconator because I would rather have him evolve before getting Wormy up levels. Because Baconator, once he evolves, he's a beast, but he's pretty uber. That's what I don't like about Baconator. <laughs> He's just too uber. Everyone uses his too, uses him too much. Um, we're probably heavier than Servine, so let's use Flame uh, Heat Crash. Why do I keep getting Flame Charge and Heat Crash mixed up? Whatever. There goes Servine. Nice and a crit. Nice. All right. So there goes Servine. Nine eighty. Uh, Panpour. Um, we can take this thing out with an Arm Thrust. So hopefully. If we can get a crit somewhere in here, ooh, level 26. Hopefully we can get a crit somewhere in here, um, and hit five times maybe. One, uh, crit. No, that was only two. Oh, pff, taunt. Okay. Well, I think the taunt only works for right now. I can use arm thrust now, I think, but not the next turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So now I can't use arm thrust next. I'll probably have to use like takedown next. All right, come on. Uh, yes! Okay, there goes Panpour. Boom! Alright! So, last up, we have Musharna. Her little Muna has evolved into a Musharna, so we're gonna go ahead and send out Wormy and Bug Bite it. Because it is a Psychic type and it's weak to Bug. So, go Wormy! Alright. Musharna! I don't know about you guys, but I think Musharna looks like a fetus. I'm just saying. All right, we're gonna use bug bite on Masharna. Bug bite. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> That's how it sounds when the bug bites you. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Defense girl, not gonna make a difference. I'm still gonna kill you, bug bite, no matter what. Unless you use a hyper potion, and then you fucking cheat. Um, this is kind of bad, right? No, it's not bad at all. Bug bite. And that will take out Masharna. Boom. And we beat Bianca. Awesome. God, I hate how slow it goes in Desmond May when you don't speed it up. Oh, I lost. Yes, you did lose. I haven't had a Pokemon battle with you in a while, Mega Man. You've become totally strong, huh? I'm not I'm not that strong, so I don't know how to say it, but I think you're way tuned into how your Pokemon feel. Oh, you know what? I want to share this HM with you, Mega Man, and you get HMO2, which is fly. Um, you can teach that to any flying Pokemon, and you can fly without the re throughout the region. Um, but we unfortunately can't do that because we don't have a flying type yet. But whatever, we will be getting one fairly soon, I guess. Um, where's that item? Did I get it already? I guess I did, because there was an item up there. I think I guess I get it. I guess I got it. So here we are on Route Six. There's a few new Pokemon on this route, so let's check out the bios. The first Pokemon you can find on Route 6 is Deerling. Deerling's a seasoned Pokemon. It's a normal grass type. It has a 
kind of unique uh, appeal to it. It is a uh, it changes for every season because in Pokemon Black and White they have new seasons. So um, there's uh, summer, spring, fall, winter, or autumn, whatever. Um, and they have all of them. Right now I had to put in the winter form because it's winter right now, and my mic is right in my nose. Um, but uh, Deerling is a normal grass type no matter what. It doesn't change depending on the season. Uh, well, it just changes appearance, but that's it. Its first ability is Chlorophyll, which speed, which it's it gets faster in the sunlight. Its second ability is Sap Sipper, which uh, if you use a grass type move on it, it'll absorb it. Um, and hidden ability is Serene Grace. I forgot what that does. Uh, its best stat is speed being 75. Worst stat is special attack being 40. Evolves to level 34 into Sawsbuck. Sawsbuck, uh, in my opinion, it looks really cool. Well, in winter form, it looks really cool at least. Um, in, like, autumn. and In autumn, it looks weird. It's like a giant red-headed thing. Um, but this looks like a giant reindeer. Uh, Sawsbuck is now its best stat is attack with uh, speed just falling up slightly behind. And uh, uh, next Pokemon is Carablast. Carablast is the clamping Pokemon. It's a pure bug type. I thought it was like a bug dragon type or something. But no, it's just a pure bug type. Uh, it's got the first ability is Swarm, which I believe powers up bug. It's basically um, the same thing as a bug type, like uh, like Torrent or... Um, or uh, overgrow or blaze it's basically just like that for bug uh, for bug type moves and uh, shed skin it sheds away any status condition after the first turn of after the first turn of being getting a status condition it will shed it away after that turn hidden abilities no guard its best stat is attack being 75 its worst stat is special attack being 40 yeah, special attack being 40 because the white really blends in with the sand thing. Um, Carablast evolves in a very unique way. Um, if you trade a Carablast for a, uh, if you trade a Carablast with a Shelmet, so if someone has a Shelmet and you trade your Carablast for that Shelmet, you will get a skill Escavalier. I don't know how you really say. It. I say I think it's Escavalier. Um, it's the uh, I'm gonna say rivalry, no cavalry Pokemon. Uh, it's a bug steel type, very very high attack, very very good s s spe physical defense. Special defense is pretty good too. Uh, so uh, Escavalier, Escavalier is really good, but if you can somehow find a way to trade your Shelmet and get it back, if you can some f someone find someone who has a Shelmet, trade it to them and then get it back, you can get your Esca Escavalier. And the final Pokemon is Fungus. Fungus is a mushroom Pokemon. It's a grass poison type. It's got the ability of Effect Spore. Effect Spore. Once Fungus is hit by and uh, by a physical move, uh, Fungus will give the enemy a status condition. Uh, its hidden ability is Regenerator. Somehow heals. I uh, don't know what it heals. Its best stats HP is 69. Sp speed 15. Uh, worst stats speed being 15. 50-50 for gender. Level 39 evolves into Amoongus. It is a mushroom Pokemon, grass poison type. Same exact thing, just gets taller, heavier, and better HP. Um, I would not recommend it unless you want a Pokemon with good HP. All right, so now that we're back, we're gonna go ahead and start off with opening, open up with a repel. No, not an expert belt. Repel. And we're gonna go across this grass. Hopefully, we don't run into any wild Pokemon. And uh, I'm gonna switch. Uh, Actually, keep Toady in front, yeah. I'll have either Toady or Baconator level up. Do, 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 do. Hmm, you're an interesting case. Please help me with my experiment. What experiment? What experiment? Alright, so we got Scientist William here with a Deerling. Okay. Um, this might be a problem because it's a grass type. Um. Alright, Palpatode, hopefully you can do this uh, with an uproar. Yes, you can do it with Uproar. Because that's your second best attacking move. First it's Muddy Water, then it's Uproar. And then Scald, and then Rain Dance doesn't do anything. Whatever, this will take out Dueling. Kaboom! Bloop, bloop. And we beat Scientist William. If I, were to get a, if I were to get a Dueling, I would nickname it Bambi. <laughs> For sure. Alright, battle me, you. Battle me. 
Pokemon with dry skin love water type po love, love water type moves in rainy weather. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, isn't there a hidden item down here? Isn't there? No, maybe not. Okay, I just went through that for no reason. Um, okay. <coughs> Something that I heard about from the older, from the newer games, uh, about a review from it. Once your repel wears off, you have a chance, you have a choice that says, like, your repel wore off, would you like to use another one? It's really helpful, actually. Um, you, that'll be. We are totally in sync. Using our amazing connection, we'll teach you all about rangers. Okay. Teach me, please. I gotta get used to getting caught because in a week I go back to school. That's why I'm trying to upload as many of these as I can. Toady, go! Take out the Sea Molga with, uh. Scald? Let's try it. Scald actually has a chance of burning the enemy because it's boiling water and has a chance of burning, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna use Scald. How much does it do? Ah, damn. Alright. We could have killed it with an uproar, but whatever. We'll take it out with Scald. <laughs> Alright, so let's kill it with Scald. Maybe not. Okay, then we'll use uproar. Ah, uh, no, don't use double team. No, please, stop. Stop. Stop doing double team, please. Please stop being an evasion noob. God, stop. No, uproar. Thank you. Goodbye, Emolga. Alright, so there goes Emolga. And next up is Deerling. Alright, we'll stay in. Keep using Uproar because that's what we took it out with last time. So, Uproar. Wee 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 wee! And one more. No, don't leech seed me. Don't leech seed me. Don't leech seed me! <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> I'll take you out with Uproar, anyways. Goodbye. Boom! Alright, there goes Deerling. <laughs> That's funny. You scream so much that Deerling dies. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you know much about this berry? Yeah, it's a cherry berry to heroes paralysis. Yeah, I know about that. Shut up. Okay. You battle me. Pouring rain, fighting Pokemon. Um, okay. You're not gonna say anything else? Alright then, Parasol Lady Nicole with a Timpo. Huh, Timpole versus Palpatode. Palpatode's gonna win though. Cause he's Toady. Toady's awesome. Alright, uh. Yeah, I guess we'll uproar. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boom. Alright, there goes Timpole. We'll just keep using uproar against these Timpoles and we'll get up a level from this too. It's either t 34 or 36 that Toady evolves. I hope it's 34 because I want him to evolve into a nice Seismitoad. Cause that's what it evolves into. Level 34, awesome. That's awesome. Alright, last up we got a temple. We'll take it out easily with another uproar. Alright, there goes temple. Um, are we gonna evolve? Oh, we got- You have another temple? Come on! Seriously? Oh, sh this is our last Pokemon, okay. Uproar. Alright, there goes Timpole. Finally. God, that was a boring battle. I just kept using Uproar. Alright, is he gonna evolve? Nope, okay. Usually I can tell when it's gonna evolve when you see this thing. Uh, when I see that thing pop up. Like the thing uh, that I just zoomed in on. When, I, when that thing pops up, I know something's gonna evolve. Another Deerling? Come on, get something better. Alright, go Toady. Use Uproar. X attack. Okay, whatever, you're not gonna get to attack me anyways. Not gonna be much of a use. So you're going down. Goodbye. Goodbye, Deerling. Alright, there goes Deerling. And we beat Scientist Ron. Alright, so let's move over here. Uh, there's an item up here. What is it? Um, Hyper Potion. Alright, cool. I guess that's cool. Alrighty, let's move over here now. Let's go into this lab. What is this? I forgot. Um, don't you get the TM for Thunderbolt or something in here? No? 
Did you get something special in here? No, they're talking about deerling. I think if you bring them a deerling, they give you something. Shut up! Shut up! Come on, shut up! Leave me alone. Okay, what do you got? Um. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go get a deerling and see what happens when to go get it. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I got a deerling and I'm gonna head back in here and I'm gonna give them, this guy a deerling and see what he does. Alright, shut up. Shut up with your talking, yes. Here, take Bambi. Alright, do you give me something? Fuck you! You don't give me anything! Damn it! I thought you were gonna actually give me something. No, you just, you're just like, oh, I wanna go get it now. Fuck you. I want to release this thing once I'm done. <laughs> once this episode's over, I'm releasing Bambi. Fuck him. Alright, so let's go over here now. And we got an elixir. Alright. Alright, so let's move. And let's battle this girl, I guess. Who looks like... Who looks very much like Fennel. <laughs> I will unlock the mechanism and find the secret of your power. Uh, I don't have a mechanism of my power, but okay. Whatever, Scientist Maria with another Deerling. Jesus, why is everyone like Deerling? Deerling sucks. Why is why do you want Deerling so much? Just because he changes appearances? That's stupid. Yeah, yeah, use your X speed. Doesn't matter. I'm still gonna use uproar and still gonna kill you no matter what happens. Boom. Jump kick. Ah! Ah! Ha! Goodbye. Alright, see you, Deerling. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use a Moo Moo Milk, just because I can. I'm gonna speed it up because I don't like watching the thing. It goes so slow when I speed up, so I gotta go like this. Alright, so now we can move over. And let's go over here. Um, oh, right, this is where we come into the introduction of this. Um... Remember how in the original games, you would find Voltorbs and Electrodes instead of Pokeballs? Yeah, this is basically what that is. Instead, you get this Pokemon, Fungus. Fungus sucks ass, so I'm not even going to bother fighting it. So, I'm just going to leave it be. <laughs> it doesn't run away. Uh, I think this is the real item. Yes. Leaf Stone. So, that's really useful. Um, battle me. Battle me. Battle me, Parasol Lady. Water fun with Pokemon. Do you want to play with us? Oh, I'll bet you have Tim Poles again. Oh, I don't like Tim Pole. Unless he's on my team, which he was, but now he's uh, a, a better Pokemon. Why do you have a Van White? You said water Pokemon, but okay. Uh, I'll use Scald on it, I guess. Because we have a chance of burning it, so might as well. I mean, I don't. I think water does normal to ice. Yes. Wow, Van White does not have good HP at all. And a Frillish. Wow. Uh, Frillish is a water ghost type Pokemon. So I don't know why I just stayed in. I don't know why I'm staying in, but whatever. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Toady can't do anything in here. Um, um, who can? Bore me, maybe? <laughs> you might be able to use Bug Bite on him. Frillish is a water... It's a bug... No, it's a... Ghost water type, so it's really unique typing, by the way. Plus, it has water absorb, so that's dickish. I'm just gonna bug bite it, I guess. I think that's super effective. If not, we'll use Razor Leaf. Nope, it's not. Wow, that wasn't very effective, and that still did a lot. Alright, then, whatever. I'll take it out with bug bite, anyways, because it did half damage, so this other half will go down from bug bite, too. So there goes Frillish. Nice job, Wormy. Alright. I'm gonna be Parasol Lady Tiana. 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 Alright, uh, you battle me. Hey, Ranger! Ranger! Battle me. Dun, 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 dun. I'll show you just how energetic I've become by just standing here. You're not standing here, you're walking around in a circle. <laughs> Alright, so we got Pokemon Ranger Richard. That's a guy? <laughs> Alright, so we got Minchino. Let's go, Toady. Take it out and scald. Alrighty. Whatever he has next, I'm probably going to go ahead and send out Baconator. Skull that Minchino. Skull that Chinchilla. Alright, there goes Minchino. 
And Emolga. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess we can go out with Eggnator. We're gonna just gonna flame charge it, I guess. Alright. Oh no, it's part flying. Oh well. Uh oh! He crashed it. Because we're way heavier than a fucking Emolga, so. This will definitely take out Emolga, for sure. Alright, so this will take out Emolga. <laughs> I become a meteor, and now you die! Ha ha ha. Alright, so there goes. E Whoa! 938 experience for an, for an Emolga! Holy crap! Wow. Alright, so he gives you another cherry berry. Let's go up here now, and do you battle me, hiker? Nope, you don't. Okay. Uh, what's up here then? Oh, we're at the cave. Alright. So, here we are at the Charged Stone Cave. And right if you go over here, thanks for waiting. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't wait. I just got here, but okay. Hi, Clay. Hi, Clay. Looks like the nest of an electric type Pokemon called Galvantula. Don't know why there's a nest here, but there's folks having problems, and the gym leader's the one to fix it. Crock a rock, take it out. So he's probably gonna take it out with like bulldoze or some shit, and he just runs right into it, and boom, it goes away. <laughs> and this here TM here, it's a TM ninety, TM seventy eight bulldoze. Bulldoze is a great ground type move, uh, and I think it lowers speed of every Pokemon it hits. So yeah. And Clay's gonna get out of there. He's just gonna walk away. I don't care, Clay. Just leave me alone. Okay. So, in the next episode of Pokemon Black, we'll be heading into the Charged Stone Cave. So stay tuned for more Pokemon Black. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.